I think certainly young graduates need to look very carefully at the jobs they're doing. Um, I think in the current economic climate, specialist training is a lot more popular than perhaps it once was, and so it's more competitive. And so looking at the jobs they're doing now and the jobs that they need to do next, and maybe the one after that as well, as well as all the additional things that specialist training normally requires, such as audit, potentially some publications, and other aspects of life, whether it's committee experience or uh, things in your social life, they're all important things to be able to put on an application form when you're applying for specialist training. Specialist training is hard work. Um, I think you know that when you enter into it, you know it's not going to, going to be easy. Um, I think the things I probably enjoyed most was probably the, almost the solidarity of the other trainees who we went through with at the time, because we became good friends, spending a lot of time together. But also the work in itself, because I was fortunate enough to realise that the specialty I'd gone into was exactly the one I wanted to go into. So we enjoyed the work, the diversity of the work, and also where it got me in the end. I think in the current time there are, there are a number of challenges. Obviously first and foremost it is hard work, it's not an easier option. It's a long time, uh, but you must look at that as a deferred benefit because in the longer term you're undertaking that training to give you the skills to be able to undertake a different role at the end of it. I think there are financial challenges, um, especially today, because whether or not it's a self-funded specialist training pathway or whether or not you're funded a, by as part of a university or an NHS programme, it's still a reduced wage potentially compared to other colleagues that are in other sectors of dentistry. Um, so I think they can be a challenge, but nevertheless you must look at that as a deferred benefit. You can certainly expect some hard work and hopefully you're going to expect to have a formal dedicated training programme in your chosen specialty. Uh, I think the advantage of that is it's that formal structured pathway. You're going to have dedicated supervision from senior colleagues who know what they're doing and obviously have the clinical experience to, to pass on and teach to you. And that's a great uh, thing to have in terms of the, the formal nature of the pathway. Um, it is hard work. You've got, as I mentioned, the solidarity of your other trainees who are working with you. So you kind of have that shared experience of what you're all going through. But I think probably most of all, it allows you to then undertake the professional work that you want to do at the end of it. And hopefully for long after when you finish the training and you pursue your specialist career.